I recently made some changes in my home theater and I relocated my projector from being a ceiling mount inside the room to putting it back inside a closet with an, an open door space but covered up by a curtain in order to achieve a larger projection throw distance, fill my screen and get some other benefits. Well, one of the things that I was concerned about, of course, is a moving essentially from having the projector out in the open, in the open air space of the room, to a slightly more closed up and confining type of environment, is temperatures. Now, I felt confident about where the projector was placed. I felt confident about some of the clearances and things around it. However, we're still talking about a tight space. It doesn't have necessarily direct inflow of air and outflow of air. It's not a closed door space, but it is covered up by a soft curtain. There's some air gaps and things, but I wanted to prove to myself that I'm operating the projector within acceptable and safe temperature tolerances. I am in a basement here uh, in Michigan, so I have that going for me. It's, it's naturally going to be a cool environment to place a projector. So at the end of the day, to kind of verify that I'm operating within good limits, my temperatures are safe, I went ahead and I picked up a, a two pack of these this is a Govi Smart Temperature and Hygrometer. It measures both temperature and humidity. So this was a two pack off of Amazon. It cost on the order of 20 bucks and maybe this could fit the bill for you to do some simple temperature monitoring around your AV system, maybe inside your AV cabinet, uh, as well as other places around your home. Setup is super simple. We're talking about 20 bucks, give or take. I think there was even a, a little activatable coupon when I ordered it, again, off of Amazon. And $20 gets you a two pack as well, not even a single. They're about 10 bucks a piece, or maybe a little bit more than that, or two for 20. Uh, they both came together in one simple little box in a little bit of bubble wrap, and it did come with batteries. Each temperature sensor uses two AAAs. There's a couple specific things that I was looking for out of this device. Again, temperature and humidity, uh, as well as having the device tell me uh, some min and max quickly, easily identifying some min and maxes. Uh, as well as Bluetooth connectivity. So Govi has an app that connects to this as well as I think some other smart home type of measurement devices that they make. Because for me, I knew I wouldn't be able to necessarily observe the screen. Uh, this was One of these was going in the closet with the curtain down and my acoustic panels in front of it. I wasn't going to be able to access it to look at it. I wanted it to make sure to be able to send the data to my phone, plot it over time, be able to watch a movie, keep the projector running, keep the room on for a longer period of time. Uh, and be able to track and trace and view and plot and graph the temperature results that I experienced within there. So setup here is really a snap. Uh, the device again pretty much just has batteries. So an initial power on, it starts measuring basically immediately. And there we go, already uh, 69 point, well 70-ish degrees here, 69.5 in the house. It's already tracking some min and maxes and we have the readout for temperature on the top humidity with also a min and max on the bottom, sitting around 42% humidity. There is one button, one control uh, on the top, one quick press changes you between Celsius and Fahrenheit, and a long press basically resets the, the readings of the min max as we can see with the long press. Now my min's maxes and my currents are all exactly identical. Again, battery compartment on the, on the back and a little bit of a keyhole hanger at the top. But that's pretty much it for the device, super basic. What's really cool is the app itself. Now, I already have one of these because there was a two pack. I already have one. I've been running one, uh, again, in my projection closet in the home theater there for a little while. Syncing is a super piece of cake. We basically hit the plus, scanning for nearby new devices. It automatically picked it up. I can go ahead and add it, wait for a little bit of negotiation connection. This is all. Bluetooth based. We're able to name our devices. I'm just going to call this one number two. I'll probably name them a little bit better, uh, specifically like projection closet. And I think I'm just going to take the second one and ultimately end up putting it in my storage room where the home theater rack is. I think I'm just going to leave this one sitting on top of the home theater rack and then I can get a bit of an idea as I'm using my home theater, as I'm using my electronics making sure that temperature management uh, of the projector is okay, as well as temperature performance uh, in and around the rack. So I could move it around as well, potentially set it maybe closer to some amplifiers, set it on top of the rack for the general temperature of the room uh, and be good to go. The app really does have some cool features to it. There's 
right away when we're looking at a given device, we can kind of plot the charts uh, by hour, day, week, month, and year. Of course, there's not a lot of data uh, in this one yet. It really literally just started gathering. However, if I pop, uh, pull down on the screen to do a refresh, to do a loading, there'll be some communication between the device. There's my data sync. And now I've got my first little blue lines in here showing me information. There's some more advanced uh, measurement options that you can toggle on on the bottom. I admit I haven't really, I haven't turned those on. I haven't messed with them. Really no need to. Again, my needs essentially are based entirely on temperature and relative humidity. If I do go back though, let's take a look at thermostat number one. And we can see there's a lot more data in here. This one actually has been running for a few days already. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the, oh, we just did a data sync. Pretty good range. I think they advertise close to 200 feet, uh, give or take. But this sensor right now, relative to where I'm sitting, is uh, another room adjacent to me and then down uh, in the closet in the basement. The temperature, the sensor itself will hold uh, a history of data. And then of course, as you connect to it, the data will get uploaded to your device. As I understand it, you can register an account with them and then they'll actually cloud store uh, up to two years, I think it is, of data at no additional cost. So there's a lot of features, a lot of tracking, and a lot of hysteresis, um, a lot of data history available to you, essentially for, for no additional cost. So if we take a look at this, another thing that's pretty cool, you can tap in here, you can get the, the actual value at a given date uh, and time. So we can see here, this was, I can, I can stretch and pan and, and zoom the time range and, the, and what I'm looking at on the chart, my initial, usage of this uh, as I took it downstairs, dropped the temperature pretty low, uh, and then I played a movie uh, to see kind of what the temperature inside the closet, how it was behaving. That was my first initial uh, sweep up there uh, in time. And then haven't hardly actually used the room since then. And so we can see the temperature really stabilized there pretty low. Uh, I did use it actually one other time. We had some friends over and we, we gave them a little bit of a, of a home theater demo and it takes us all the way here into today, Sunday morning, but very powerful and very useful data about what's going on in the system here. And again, confidence that I'm not overheating my projector, the environment, the ambient around my projector is nice and cool and running in a safe tolerance. So, so that's pretty much it. A couple things that I like. It fulfills my needs. Uh, for two of them, again, it was fairly inexpensive. It's got some nice interfaces, uh, app control and UI to it, which I always appreciate in my technology and my devices. So generally, but I guess giving it a, a thumbs up tech commendation. <laughs> See what I did there. When I was shopping this stuff, I did do a little bit of due diligence. I essentially just kept my search relegated to Amazon. Uh, this came up as a generally strongly recommended, highly reviewed model there. The only thing that kind of pains me is you add more and more of these devices kind of to the household and, and, and whatnot is they all have their own <laughs> configuration apps. So uh, as much as possible, it's nice to try to get as many individual devices as you can from the same place. So I'm starting to kind of have a collection of disparate apps uh, on my phone, on my tablet to connect to, uh, configure and get the data, get the information and whatnot out of a bunch of disparate little uh, types of Internet of Things style devices within the household. Maybe a little more research, I could have found something tied more perhaps specifically to HomeKit or something like that. but. Uh, HomeKit strikes me as something that's more valuable, say for control, rather than giving you, uh, being able to give you such a customized interface into the data that you're looking at. I'll have to poke around the Govi app a little more. There are multiple sections there in the app. They have a store, of course, where you can buy a bunch of other types of things that they sell. It all stays unified under one interface and tracking application there. Looks like they even had a point system as well. The first time that I clicked on the store icon in the app, just for connecting my first device, there was $5 free uh, of store credits, uh, I believe is what I saw. So hey, maybe there's another little sensor or tweaky device from Gobi that I'll be picking up uh, with some of those credits here pretty soon. So if you use something like this to monitor your systems, protect your systems, or have some other general uses for it around your household or your lifestyle, sound off in the comments and let me know uh, what brand, make, model, manufacturer, etc. are you using for this type of purpose? Uh, what do you like about it? Have you tried some Govi stuff? What do you think? And hey, if, if this might be useful to you, check it out. There'll be an Amazon uh, affiliate referral link down in the description. Pick one up for yourself. Maybe you can make use of it as well in your home theater setup too uh, or other parts of your household.
If you found this video useful, by all means, hey, please leave a super thanks, PayPal Venmo tip, something along those lines. Shop with my affiliates, there's a whole bunch of them. Audio advice for high-end home theater, premium home theater equipment, as well as Best Buy, Amazon, Target, Newegg, and a whole bunch of others. Otherwise, please do all that regular YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the video, leave a comment, let's discuss, and come on back for more home theater and techy little discussion and fun. This is a Govee Smart Temperature Hydrogen. <laughs>